Well, hey guys, welcome back to Waters Family Homestead. Well, as you can see, two of the gray Easter eggers just right there at the door of the pen and a black one walked up. And uh, the four turkeys are out here with what's left of the scratch. I didn't throw a whole bunch over here, about a quarter of a cup, which would be, of a quarter of a scoop, which would be about a half a cup. Because there just wasn't many over there. And then I proceeded to let all the Rhode Island Reds out and I want to move a bunch of the Rhode Island Reds to the other side where the grass is mainly because there's just not much grass here and they deserve some grass so I was planning on letting about 10 of them go over and that'll leave four hens with Sue which is plenty you know it'll they're not old enough anyway and then while I was doing that and I went over and let the last pin out so all the 10 Rhode Island Reds, the 10 Black Sex Links, the 3 Barnyard Mix, and the 3 I got from Maddox Church that are, I think, Black Sex Link Mix. They're all over there with Junior. And I threw extra scratch out. <laughs> While I was doing that, this gray Easter Egger and black Easter Egger decided to fly over the fence and get into the middle pen. And I almost didn't let the turkeys and them out today because the turkeys keep trying to roost in the wrong place. And uh, I'm just not in the mood for that. But the two Easter eggers decided they were going to come back over into Sue's area. And I'm not going to fight with them. If they want to stay over here, they stay over here. Um, I still haven't got that other rooster from Matt, which is going to go in the first pen with the turkeys. And those Easter eggers that are staying over there, if they stay. But I'm afraid, I think the three barnyard mix Rhode Island Reds that I hatched that were in the brooder in the house when the dogs killed every animal I had except my roosters, I think they're going to end up being three roosters. That'd be my luck, right? I need hens to lay eggs and I, they sure look like they're going to grow up to be roosters and I don't know. You never know till they get a little bit bigger, but there may be, I'm, I don't know, their tail feathers seem to stick straight up a lot more than I'd like them to. At least one of them is probably a rooster. They could all three be, I don't know. But I wanted to show y'all, I threw a scoop and a half, which is three cups of scratch feed out over here. And uh, of course, they're going to need to mingle a little bit. And I may end up building a, a larger roost to hold more birds in there. There's room on that roost for all of these chickens. There's about 26 of them, plus Junior be 27. There's room on that roost for them. They got two nesting boxes in there. None of those chickens in here, the Rhode Island Reds or Black Sex Links or the Barnyard Mix Roost uh, 3 that I hatched, none of them are old enough to, to lay eggs yet. The only three that are old enough to lay eggs are the three I got from Matt and um, I was really thinking of putting him in the first pen, but the rooster he's wanting to give me was really hard on those three when he had them. That's why he wanted to get rid of them so they didn't get pecked to death. And, you know, he's abusing them a little bit. So I, I may put them in with Sue now. I don't know. They need a calmer environment. But either way, that I'm getting about one egg a day from those three hens. And since I separated the... Easter eggers. I've been getting one or two a day. I got two yesterday and two today from the Easter eggers and they, they're laying a smaller egg. So they're still young layers. I've got five and I haven't gotten more than two in one day yet. So it's all right. But that allows these chickens to be able to come over and forage on the grass and the bugs and leaves and all of that which is something that they've really never been able to do. They were in a mobile chicken tractor from the guy I bought them from, but the, it had a wire bottom, so the grass had to be tall enough to come through the bottom in order for them to eat it, and then they weren't able to scratch because their feet weren't on the ground. So that's the way he did his. I don't like that way, but... You know, I, I'm fine with a mobile chicken tractor if, if it doesn't have a bottom and that they can actually scratch and eat grass. But anywho, so these 10 that are over here, 
hopefully will blend in with the rest of the flock. I'm, I know I'm going to struggle getting them all to go to roost this evening in, in the new pen, but hey, it's got to be done. Um, they need a grass area to forage in, and there's plenty of grass here for all the chickens to forage and scratch in. So that's the game plan. And I still plan on cutting them two pear trees down with the chainsaw. I've just got to get that primer bulb put on. I haven't done that yet. But uh, those two pear trees are definitely coming down because they have fire blight and they didn't produce anything this year because I'm sure of the fire blight and me having to prune that out of it, trying to save it, and I just can't get it. So they need to come down and I'll start over. And then, of course, that's an apple tree and that's an apple tree back there. Those two need to be coming down because they're never going to produce. I've had that tree longer than any other fruit tree here. And it's never even produced an apple. So cut it down, pull it up, something like that. And, of course, once the goat pen is done, the goats are going to chew the bark off of any tree in their area. They're going to kill them anyway. So I might as well cut them down and start over. And that'll probably be closer to springtime. I may take some cuttings off of it and just plant a couple out in the field and see, but I don't think they're ever gonna produce. I need to buy a breed or type of apple that will produce apples in my area. It can be done, I just didn't know that when I bought those. So I've got, had two more apple trees out in the front of the field over there. One of them already died and I mowed it down. The one that, I've had just as long as that big one acted like it died on us three times where we repotted it, brought it back, did that three times. It's out there. It's still not growing very well. I'm going to mow it down. I'm just, I'm tired of babying it after eight, nine years of babying it. And it's still not more than two and a half, three feet tall. And it's never producing anything. It's time to go. It's time to plant something that'll produce. So, That'll empty all the fruit trees that are on that side of the property. And uh, that's the game plan. But I wanted to show y'all. I haven't made a video really in about a week. Because I was behind on the number of videos I had made and uploaded. And uh, I got them all uploaded. I'm making this on Wednesday evening. There's already two videos uploaded for Thursday and Friday of this week. So this will probably come out Saturday and I'll end up making another video the end of this week or this weekend for Monday, maybe Tuesday, something like that. But I just wanted to show y'all Easter eggers. We, if, if my son-in-law ever had time, we could come out here and trim their wings and help slow that flying over the fence crap down. But I'm, I can't do it by myself. I can't hold the chicken spread the wing out and cut the tips of the feathers off so they have trouble flying by myself. You, it really is a two person job. And uh, I need to trim all these chickens wings so they can't fly over the fence and end up getting themselves hurt or lost or whatever. But I'm gonna get off here guys. I appreciate y'all. Um, if some of you may have noticed the video I had uploaded of the, the, the fighting had to stop with the turkeys. It sh I showed the, the turkeys fighting just a little bit on that thing. Wasn't thinking about showing them fighting, but that's what they were doing. And it went on for days. Well, I ended up taking the biggest Tom out of the pen. And instead of cutting his head off, I just kicked him out of the pen. And he went around and laid behind the back and came back around and they fought through the door there for a day. And I'm thinking, well, you can fend for yourself, buddy. It's either lose your head or fend for yourself. I'm tired of you disrupting my flock. And uh, that night when it got dark, because I didn't let him back in, he flew, he flew his big old butt over the fence and got in there on the roost. And I have not had them fight. See how they're out here now? That has not happened since. It's like he learned, hey, he's. I'm not going to have a home if I keep that stuff up. But what I did have happen yesterday, and it's been a solid week or a week and a few days, as I put the new roost up in there, 
he was trying to fight him while they were on the roof last night at getting dark. So I went in there and gave him an attitude adjustment and it stopped. But I'm still may end up having to just dispatch him, put him in the freezer. It's just no other way around it. He is just too aggressive. He's always wanting to do something. But since I kicked him out, I haven't seen them two fighting in the pen together. Period. So maybe he got the message. Hopefully, at least part of it. But uh, anyway, YouTube took that video down. They gave me a warning for it. Told me if I take their class of whatever. I don't even remember what they call the class that uh i could get the warning removed look guys i'm trying to be a good christian but it ain't no other way to say it screw youtube okay i'm not taking their class i took it when they gave me a warning a couple of years ago for bull crap and it was completely not against the, the rules on youtube nothing wasn't even fighting. I mean, it was me shooting single-action cowboy-style pistols on the range. You know, you have to cock the hammer back every time to fire it, load one bullet at the time in the revolver cylinder. They gave me a warning over that and took my video down. It had been up over a year. Had over, well, had almost 30,000 views. Way over 20,000. And uh, they took that video down as well and gave me a warning. So that warning is long expired. So now they've given me a new warning over bull crap. And took the video down and I appealed it. And it, this time it wasn't instant like last time. But in about 15 minutes, I got an email back saying they denied my appeal. That the video is down. That no one would be able to watch that video on YouTube. Okay. Stick it up your own, YouTube, because I'm not apologizing for animals being animals. That's life. That's part of life. Learn how to deal with it. If you don't like it, don't watch my videos. Quit demon I say demonetizing. Quit shadow banning my channel over animals being animals. Period. You know, kind of like y'all's liberal Democrat. You know, y'all are animals. You're freaking retards. So, hey, take my channel down. I don't give a flying rat's ass. Rumble's better, y'all. Go to Rumble. Watch my videos over there. The ones that you have migrated over, I thank you so much. I think I'm up to 37 subscribers over there. And the last video I put out, which was yesterday morning, um, it's got over 40 views. The same video from yesterday morning on YouTube with 662 subscribers has got 20 views. I got double the views on a platform that's not shadow banning me with 37 followers versus 662. I've got half as many views. So screw YouTube. I'm sorry if y'all, if they delete my channel, whatever, I just don't care. I'm tired of fighting YouTube. I'm going to keep posting as long as they allow me to. <laughs> But I am not going to bend to their mentally ill way of thinking. Their woke agenda, mentally ill crap. I'm not bending my opinion to theirs. I'm not in the wrong. They are. So that's just the way it is. I'm not, I'm not changing the, who I am and how I run my farm. If they don't like it, kick me off. I really don't care. I've got a personal channel on YouTube that I used to watch my channels that I follow <laughs> or subscribe to. And, and I plan on doing that. If they kill this channel, I'm just going to watch the channels that I subscribe to on my personal channel and not recreate a homestead, a uh, water family homestead channel on YouTube. And I will just post on rumble. Believe it or not, guys, it's pennies. It's pennies. I've made 20 cent. It shows you how much you make and which videos are monetized and which ones are not. Almost all the videos I've uploaded to Rumble are monetized. I've made 20 cent. Now you can't withdraw 20 cent, but guess how much? And that's in, you know, two or three months. Guess how much I've made on, on YouTube in over three years? 
zero. And it'll be 10 more years at the rate they're allowing my channel to grow before I even could be considered to make 20 cent. So, heck with YouTube. I appreciate y'all that have migrated over. Those that you haven't, hey, it's absolutely free. It's just another video platform. It's just another video app. Download it. It's free. Make an account. Watch videos over there. You're going to find a lot more content from a lot of channels that you may like that aren't being censored because we're not doing anything illegal. We're not doing anything immoral. Hey, just a thought. So support the people that are for free speech, not the socialist, communist retards that aren't. All right, guys, I'm going to shut up because, you know, y'all can tell that gets me fired up. I love y'all. Remember what I always tell you. Jesus Christ loves you. Y'all have a great day. Be safe. Be prepared.